All right, I'm in the basement, so I'm gonna do some light painting. Tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna do, so we'll go have a look at some light painting tools. I'm gonna to use the old Olympus EM10. I haven't used this for a while. I'll, um, got my old cell phone, mobile phone here in my pocket that's got the remote control app on it. So we'll try that tonight and um, see what we can get out of it. Let's go and check out some tools. All right, I've got a desk, my desk here set up with all kinds of junk. Don't even know where to put my camera down. Put it there. So I've got all this stuff down here on the desk. I don't know what to use. Let's have a look what we got here. Got all these little kind of automotive LED bulbs. They're T10 or something, which is not really a common size you even find in a car, so I don't know what they're used for. But um, they're pretty good for making orbs and doing some light writing. So I've got a little tool here for, for, for doing orbs. Maybe I'll use that. A couple of night rider strips. Maybe I should use them. Hey, I got an idea. I think I need to do some orb practice and then maybe throw some night rider strips in there. Let's try that. Night rider strips, T10s, try and fit an orb in down here in the basement. Not a lot of roof, uh, space under the roof, but I'll try it inside. Maybe I'll to go outside if I can't make it work inside, we'll see. Ready to go. I love this wire stripper tool. This is my momentary button power supply. Put my T10 into this, whichever way is negative. I actually, I mark my bulbs so that I know which side's negative and which side's positive because LEDs only go one way. And all I gotta do is plug that in here. Hopefully it lights up. That's my orb tool now. I'm not sure why, but these two are connected to each other for no good reason. I think I had them on my bike once. Did my night rider LED strip. Go with a latch switch. I've just realized I'm using a blue one and I put a blue LED bulb in the orb tool. Might change that to green. Go with green. Need to figure out how to set up the Olympus again. I haven't used this for a while. It's already in bulb mode. So manual, bulb mode. Run F18. This is the problem with the Olympus. If you do long exposures in bulb mode, it takes forever to process. It's really annoying. I don't remember why I stopped using this camera for light painting. It's set up now. I'm so used to using my Canon, I can never remember where everything is in this. Kill some lights. Camera wants a bit of pre-focus on something. Try again.
First image wasn't bad, but got to clear some junk. Camera takes so long. It's so annoying. I didn't even have that long an exposure. You know what? I don't mind that result. It's pretty cool. Apparently dinner's ready in a moment, so I'll come down and do some more after dinner. Not quite as good, it was too far to the right with the orb, so I need to go a little bit more left. Try again. That was pretty cool. I don't mind that. Let's see what I gotta do. I need to get probably more fill up in the top. I wanna do something on the floor too in the foreground.
You probably can't see what I just did, but I just put a little washer on the floor so you can see where my range is, somewhere down here. It's not bad. I'm gonna try and do one more because I've still got dead space over this side. And it's full over this side. So I think I've got to go remove myself to the left or sort of to the right when I'm facing the camera. Try that. There you go, that one's got better balance. The orb's more in the center here from the things on the side. I haven't gone too far back at the bottom. Still not quite what I want, but I'm just gonna call it a knife from there. I think I've done all right. All right, so that was a pretty good session. I got a few good images out of it. I'm still going to get my eye back into light painting because it has been six months since I'd previously done much light painting and I'm kind of getting there. I really need to take it outside. I got some nice forests out the back to uh, to really have fun in, but we'll get to that in the next few weeks, hopefully before it snows. Hey, and if it snows, it's time to break out the steel wool, I reckon. All right, until next time, don't forget to subscribe and also check out the website, lightpainthack.com. Talk to you later.